The complete recall balance pass on the assault rifles and SMG attachments will also be included, as well as a buff to launcher damage against enemies with flat jacket in fucking hardcore. There is no way this is happening, guys. Oh my god. Treyarch somehow need to find a way to give me all the fucking time I've wasted trying to get launchers gold or diamond. Because this change, it's pathetic that it's took them this long to do it. Holy shit, guys, it's happening. They're updating Cold War. Yes, guys, you heard me correctly. They're actually updating Cold War. Mind-blowing news, literally the news of the year. The fact that I'm excited with them updating a game, they should be updating regularly, shows what state Call of Duty is in at the moment. But anyway, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be running you guys through what to expect this weekend in Black Ops Cold War and in the next coming weeks in regards to weapon tuning, maps and things that are returning, just to give that little bit more of life to the game in the next couple of weeks so guys stick around let's get into it okay so starting off with just this weekend of course in the next sort of 15 20 minutes of recording this video so on the 25th of march around 6 p.m gmt we should expect double xp for playstation and then tomorrow is when it'll be here with pc and xbox along with that we should then expect nuclear apocalypse which is a new game mode coming to black ops cold war which effectively allows you to have nuketown and apocalypse 24 7 in the same list so effectively you have both of those maps in the rotation for 24 7 nothing else which is pretty sick both very good maps for challenges especially for the assault rifles along with that we should expect snipers only mosh pit which i'm a massive fan of so i'm glad that's coming back and a lot of fun to be had on that as well so that's also something coming to the game and yeah just to give it a bit more life but boys the thing we're all here for the weapon balancing coming to black ops cold war in the middle of next week which uh yeah is definitely needed we need to switch the meta up a bit guys the last time they have implemented a weapon tuning update to this game was december the 10th almost three months ago let that sink in anyway hopefully we should have some meta changes coming in the next week and this is what we're changing so we're doing the weapon balancing and changes to the lmgs entirely the lc10 ak74u the mac10 the ksp45 the milano the krig6 the ffar thank god the groza the magnum the rpg <laughs> yeah that's a massive one and more so i'm pretty sure they're doing a complete overhaul of the weapon tuning on cold war which is definitely definitely needed we need a new meta weapon in cold war we need something to make it a little bit more fun spice it up break a gun let us just enjoy it for a little while just something that we can actually appreciate in the game to be honest i'm just really happy they're actually changing something in the game because it's been the same since release pretty much so thank you treyarch for actually supporting your game that's not all we're having a complete recoil balance pass on assault rifles and smg attachments as well so that's going to be completely reworked with regards to the grips the red dots and things like that the visual recoil that you're going to be able to see that's going to change massively as well and yeah i'm pretty damn hyped about it also there was a screenshot released where there's just a massive rottweiler dog next to one of the operators so i'm thinking potentially some new finishing moves will be with us as well in regards to next week and i think middle of next week we're also going to be getting a new sniper rifle coming to the game as well so which is also going to be pretty damn pog also there's one more tweet as well i just want to go over again this mentions pretty much identically the same thing as what we've just spoken about but in a little bit more detail and this is directly from tryout themselves so let's just have a read of it we've also got a new weapon tuning pass coming to multiplayer as a part of the mid-season update including lmg adjustments and tuning for the lc10 ak74u mac10 ksp milano krig FFAR, Groza Magnum, RPG, and more. A complete recall balance pass on the assault rifles and SMG attachments will also be included, as well as a buff to launcher damage against enemies with flat jacket in fucking hardcore. There is no way this is happening, guys. Oh my god. Treyarch somehow need to find a way to give me all the fucking time I've wasted trying to get launchers gold or diamond. Because this change, it's pathetic that it's took them this long to do it. There's plenty more coming to our mid-season update, including the return of Prop Hunt, with new maps and props added to the rotation. So keep an eye out for the official roadmap and full patch notes early next week. Guys, it's a massive update that's coming. The launchers really, really top off the cake. The fact that they've only just released this update is absolutely disgusting and mind-blowing. So uh, yeah, a very, very open overdue update guys go and get these launches done when this update is out do not even try right now just completely leave it and get the kills when they come out it's an absolute waste of time if they're going to increase the damage with flat jacket but uh also just to mention this is a complete cold war update this is nothing to do with Warzone either and uh yeah guys let me know down below what you think of this news i'm absolutely buzzing for just the launcher side of things to be honest for the guys that are going for it for i know how difficult it was to get the launches done it was very demotivating to try it and guys we're finally 
got their attention and they've actually done something about it so fair play Triarch, and thank you it's a couple of months too late but i mean there's nothing we can do at this point is there but guys there's some of the new also coming around in the mid-season update is an updated version of miami which is effectively a smaller map which i'll put on screen right now and it has obviously a lot of the unnecessary parts of miami just completely removed and not to mention it's daytime pretty damn good i'm glad they're actually doing something with the map because it's just an awful map i always back out when i get it in the rotation and I'm hoping this time around it'll be a good map to play. So I'm hoping that this will actually suffice and be a good alternative to a shit map that we received in the game. Guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. That's going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't, leave a like and subscribe for plenty more daily content at 8pm every single day. Guys, we'll see you in the next one.